Hi, it's John. It's the 16th of July 2014, and this is privet, that privet hedge. And when it's in flower, the bees absolutely love it. So it's teeming with bees and little nectar-loving things. I'll look at uh, other Henley, you know where I live. Now there's a little butterfly on there. I think it's what's known as a gatekeeper which is like a meadow brown, but smaller, and it's on the bramble blossom. Now I saw someone on YouTube was saying that the black, uh, blackberries were ripe already. Um, I haven't actually seen any ripe myself, but I've seen them going red, there's some going red there, little ones. But we've got a lot of cultivated blackberries in this area. Um, they, they spread by layering, but they also, I think, the birds eat, the, eat them and then they seed. So all along the back of our gardens, there's well, a lot of them have, have got uh, these blackberries that grow lovely and big. And they make gorgeous wine. I haven't made any wine yet this year, but I might be making some soon. The cherry plums are out, so I might make some. Do my cherry plums are like little damsons? Um, they're also called. Uh, oh, what are they called? I can't remember now. Anyway, there's the little damsons I might make some wine with, and uh, you know, I'll certainly make some blackberry wine because it's um, not too acid. It's quite an, it, it, it's a very, very, very nice flavour to it. And we've drunk all the last year's blackberry wine already. The World Cup is now over. I've been watching it. Very enjoyable. And um, yes, there were a lot of adverts on there, weren't there? Now on the English TV, there were an awful lot of betting shop adverts, obviously aimed at young men um, who wish to who, who they wish to bet on football. So it's going over from horse racing to football, the betting. And in the UK, it's recently been allowed to advertise betting on the television. I mean, it's strange why people are influenced by advertising. I can't think of a, a hardly an instance where I've where I've um, bought something which I've seen advertised. Um, I tend to do sort of research. I know, I know people may not believe me there, but it's uh, it, it's um, treating the population like. Um, like pleb plebeians, like um, serfs, um, like blithering idiots, and uh, and the population sort of responds in in that way. You know, they they do what they're told. Who would believe it? Um, I haven't got a mobile phone at the moment. Certainly, haven't got an iPhone. Well, part of the reason why I haven't got a mobile phone or iPhone is because if I need need to see small stuff, I need to put the glasses on. And um, I don't really like... And it's not vanity that I don't like wearing glasses. It's just that if you have the glasses on, then you can't see distance. And I like to see distance all the time. So so the mobile phone, I just can't be bothered with it. And, and I don't really want to talk to people on the phone, actually. There's big boy bull in the field. It's a footpath, a field with a footpath in. And those bulls, they are, those cattle, they are, well, they're friendly. So that means that they're, they're not afraid of you. Because they're show cattle. They're used to being led on a halter. So I wouldn't, probably would be very cautious about going through that field. I know a lot of people would. Okay, bye for now.